Hi Hope Kids, Angela here, and I am so excited to bring you this week's message. We are going to be digging into our adventure Bibles. If you don't have this Bible at home, any Bible will look great. Um, we're going to be going into the book of Acts, it's towards the end of your Bible. We're going to be reading Acts 17, and we'll be talking about verses 16 through 34. I'm only going to read a small section of that, um, so stick with me here. So Paul is in Athens right now, in, as we're reading this story. And he's in Athens talking about the great news of Jesus. And he's talking about God and educating everybody. But before he can do that, before he can start talking and start giving everybody this amazing news, he has to do something first. He has to do some research. Have you guys ever had to do research, Hope Kids, whether it be a paper, um, a book report that you're writing, maybe a topic that you're researching? Uh, I know I've had to do lots and lots of research on anything. I had to do some research on what I was reading, and so I understood the scripture. And so what that is called is you're getting a different point of view. You're going to get a different perspective, right? Because when you're doing research, you're reading facts, but you're also reading it from someone's point of view or maybe a different perspective, um, especially if you're reading articles written by someone's, you know, someone's ideas of like, this is what this means or this is what this says. Uh, so that's what he was doing. He was, doing re he was doing his research on the people of Athens. And what he found out was they worshipped several, several, several gods. They had statues everywhere of all these gods. And, uh, and he realized the way to talk to them is through this one particular statue. Because it said, to an, let's see if I, I want to say it right, to an unknown god. And so he knew the people of Athens were very, very religious. They worshipped several hundreds, if not more, statues. And so I'm going to read some scripture and then we're going to talk about it, okay? So I'm going to read, again, Acts 17, and I'm going to start at verse 22, and I'm going to end at 31. So it says, Then Paul stood up in the meeting of Areopagus. He said, People of Athens, I see that you are very religious in every way. As I walked around, I looked carefully at the things you worship. I even found an altar to an al I found I even found an altar with to an unknown god written on it. So you don't know what you are worshiping. Now I'm going to tell you about this unknown god. He is the god who made the world. He also made everything in it. He is the lord of heaven and earth. He doesn't live in temples built by human hands. He is not served by human hands. He doesn't need anything. Instead, he gives himself life and breath to all the people. He also gives them everything else they have. From one man, he made all the people of the world. Now they live over the earth. He, he decided exactly when they should live, and he decided exactly where they should live. God did this so that people would seek him and perhaps they would reach out for, out for him and find him. They would find him even though he is not far away from any of us. In him we live and move and exist. As some of our own poets have also said, we are his children. Yes, we are God's children. So we shouldn't think that God is made out of gold, gold or silver or stone. He isn't a statue planned or ma and made by clever people. In the past, God didn't judge people for what they didn't know. But now he commands all people everywhere to turn away from their sins. He has set a day when he will judge the world fairly. He has appointed a man to be its judge. God has proved this to everyone. By raising that man from the dead. And of course he's speaking about Jesus. Help kids. And so here he is. Preaching the amazing news about God. To these individuals. And he's, and he's talking to them. On the level they understand. Because they understand statues. And they understand worshipping. But now he's saying. You should be worshipping this one God. One God. 
And how amazing is that? He had to do his research. He had to figure out how to speak to these people of Athens. And he did it, right? And it says in the end, you know, some of the people became followers of Paul and believed in Jesus. Um, and some didn't, right? But it was their choice. But the ones that do believe, he spoke to them because he understood them. And he got a different point of view. He got a different perspective. He was focused, Hope Kids, on what they needed to hear, what God was telling him to say. So Hope Kids, I'm going to encourage you to help others seek Jesus. All right? Lead with example. Lead with words. Lead with kindness and respect and love. Because that's what Jesus wants us to do right? Paul would pray, which we're going to be doing here in a second, and he would pray, and, you know, God provided him the words and the opportunities, and that's what he was doing. Paul was circling the area, going to different countries, and preaching the good news of Jesus. So let's hope, kids, let's pray here. <sighs> Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this opportunity um, to seek you, and to help others seek you, Lord, with our actions and with our kindness and respect and love, Lord. All the different ways we can teach, show that and teach that to others. Lord, we're so blessed to know you and have a relationship with you. So thank you for that. Thank you for your son, Jesus. And thank you um, that he sacrificed, that you sacrificed him on the cross for our sins, Lord. So thank you. We love you a whole bunch. We praise things all in your name. Amen. So hope kids, I too have to find different perspective. I have to constantly try to walk in someone else's shoes to understand maybe what they're going through. I have two young boys and I constantly have to figure out what are they going through right now? What is their challenges every single day? Because they're different than mine. I didn't grow up in a world that they grew up in today. I grew up in a different world. I didn't have social media. I didn't have all these extras. I didn't have a cell phone. I didn't have all this different pressures of society, of their peers. And so I have to stop my mom brain. And then I have to put myself in their shoes. What are they going through at this moment? Because we don't change, right? We're still human. We still feel a lot. We still care a lot. We still love a lot. So if someone's going through something, and you need to maybe take a walk in their shoes to understand their perspective, and that's what Paul is doing. He's trying to understand the people of Athens. And so Hope Kids, I encourage you to help others seek Jesus. And I encourage you to continue to build your relationship with Jesus. Because he's pretty amazing. I hope you all are doing well. I hope this message finds you, finds you some comfort and some peace. Um, God bless and have a great week.